but today I'm going to share with you um, how to get unstuck. Now, I actually created this as a two-part series because after I posted the poll and you guys chose it, I was sort of thinking how to get unstuck from sort of an emotional point of view, more so than when you're in a rut, more so than how do you get unstuck if you're stuck um, in your book. So I decided to add a second part of it, which is to do with how to un get unstuck if from a writing perspective. So, but the one I'm gonna to share today is how do you get unstuck if you're sort of in a rut and you just can't seem to move forward. The first thing that you can do to help you get unstuck is journal with intention. And I say with intention because sometimes, and I know I struggle with this too, I start journaling and it's, and it's just journaling for the sake of journaling without really any intention behind it, whether it's something that you're trying to work through or heal, or whether you're just trying to vent, whether you're just trying to perhaps just get clear about what you want to create for your life. Whatever that is, sometimes it's not just journaling. Sometimes it's important to think about journaling with intention and that has really made a big difference for me because i've been a journaler my whole life but i found in the last few years when i started doing meditation more i had to kind of change how i journaled whereas in the past i kind of just journaled as this is what i'm thinking this is what i'm feeling which was okay but because i was doing a lot of that in meditation it was sort of like when i came to journal i just felt like there was nothing to journal about so i started sort of changing it so that I was journaling with intention in the sense of what is it I want to create? What is it that I want to do um, going forward or today or just really being intentional about it? So if you've been struggling to journal um, as a way to get unstuck, uh, just something to think about is maybe to journal a different way and that is to journal with intention. The second thing you can do is to meditate. Oh my gosh, I can't say this enough. I love to meditate. Um, and when I say, a lot of times when I talk about meditation, so people are like, well, I can't really meditate. I tried it, but it didn't really work for me. Or, you know, I just had too many thoughts running through my head or I fell asleep. And the truth is there is no perfect way to meditate. Like it's very rare that I will sit in what you would call the traditional meditation pose where I'm, you know, sitting cross-legged and, you know, arms like, hmm, I really don't, meditate like that to be honest i tried occasionally i can if i'm outside then i will do that if it's for a short like quick five minutes but if i'm doing like heavy meditation i'm laying down in my bed i'm comfortable i'm really relaxed and that works for me and when i first started meditating i would fall asleep and i was freaking out thinking i wasn't doing it right and this isn't working and then i just started learning more about meditation and that is normal or i would have all these thoughts uh, running through my head and I really was just like, okay, my mind is too busy to do this. And that's perfectly normal too. And what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is you really have to find a meditation practice that works for you. There is no, there is no right or wrong way to actually meditate. Um, and it's just a matter of finding what works for you and to you know, try it more than once. If it doesn't work the first time, it's okay to keep trying. I think it probably took me about a month to two months before I really started to get into it and see the value of it and for it to really make an impact in my life. So if you are stuck, I want to encourage you to find a way to meditate that works for you. The third way is to detox. And this could look different for everybody. Uh, for me, it's detoxing from food, from the things that I'm watching, from perhaps, well, I don't really, really read any books that aren't good for me, but perhaps that's for you. Anything that's perhaps what I like to call toxic for you that you can just feel it's not making you feel good about what's going on or what you're doing. If you're already in a funk, the last thing that you need to do is to surround yourself with negative things, whether that's input or what you're seeing. So that is one way um, is to just detox from all those things and just sort of what I like to call clear the air, um, whether that's food or TV or your phone, uh, you know, all kinds of electronics and just sort of give yourself that space to kind of 
clear the air and all that negativity away. That really helps me if I'm stuck and in a funk. The next thing that you can do to get unstuck is to connect to your creativity. Now, this can look different for everybody. Like for instance, if you're stuck and you are not being able to write or get through a phase in your book that you're trying to get past, then saying, you know, uh, sit down and write more might not necessarily work for you. But if you can co connect to your creativity in a different way, like maybe painting or doing another creative activity that perhaps um, you haven't done in a while that might help to help you get connected is connecting to other creatives and getting inspired by them reading you know perhaps genres that you love your favorite book i love to do that every once in a while um as well as you know your favorite things that just really connect you to your creativities images museums pictures anything that helps you to spark that creative side of you is just to reconnect with those things to help you to get unstuck Another way to get unstuck is to go slow because I think a lot of times when we get stuck, we're like, I got to get out of this. You know, I, I need to do this. I need to do that. And a lot of times we don't realize if we've been stuck for a while, you know, you, we can't expect ourselves to just wake up one morning and do one thing and it's going to, you know, suddenly and we're going to be unstuck and we're going to be great and we're going to be moving. Um, the truth is sometimes we just need to go slow. Maybe just try one thing. And if that doesn't work, you know, give yourself a break and, you know, try something new. But, you know, we don't have to go fast. We don't have to do all the things to get unstuck. It's okay to just sort of take a step back and to go slow and, you know, maybe that's what we need right now is to just take that time to ourselves and give ourselves a break um, in order to get through that stuckness. So just something to think about and to consider is another way to keep going because um, sometimes when we get stuck it can just feel like it's never going to go away we're never going to get out of this especially if it's been a while um, I've been there when it's been like a year and I just feel like I'm still not moving forward no matter what I do and I have to remind myself that you know I it's okay to keep moving that you know you are nothing lasts forever however much we feel like it's been forever and that it's taking forever the truth is that we are going to get out on the other side and that we have to remind ourselves of that and that you know even if we try things and we fail at them solving the problem the way we think it's going to that that's okay you know it's just one more thing or one more way that we tried that didn't work and it's okay to fail um i think that is a big thing for me um because it's for me it's always been sort of you know failure was never seen as okay you failed that's okay let's just try again it's always been like oh crap i failed i didn't do my best i didn't do this and that when i do fail at something it's really difficult for me to sort of push past that and just recognize hey you know what i fail this didn't work let me try it a different way or let me try it this way um as much as i give that advice <laughs> Sometimes it's not always easy to take our own advice and that's something that I am constantly working through um, for myself and recognizing that, you know, failure is a part of the process and that it's okay and that we don't have to beat ourselves up and we can keep going. We don't have to come to a screeching halt and think, okay, I failed and I can't move on. That is okay. And the other thing is too that it's okay to try more than once. Um, or try something different. Um, you know, a lot of times we think, oh, well, we tried something once and it failed. Well, sometimes we just need to try again, right? It's kind of like, you know, you try to open that door and it doesn't quite open. You're like, oh, this isn't going to work. Why isn't it working? When the truth is, you know, it could be that we needed to unlock the door and then try it, you know? So that's important as well, is to also try it a different way. Um, the way that you did it might not have been the best way or there's a different way to do it and to try it a different way. And, you know, chances are you are going to get a different result that is going to help you to move forward and to get unstuck. And the last and final way that you can get unstuck is um, to remember that self-love goes a long way because 
you know, it's really hard when we get stuck to think that there's something wrong with us. Why aren't we doing, um, you know, why isn't what we're doing working? And we beat ourselves up when the truth is in those moments, we really need to be kind to ourselves and to remember to love ourselves. And, you know, that's hard when we feel like we're failing. <laughs> but the truth is, is that, you know, self-love works in every area. So it's really important to remember that self-love goes a long way. You know, as you're going through each stage of getting unstuck, because there is no, oh, wake up the next morning and everything's great, is to be gentle with yourself as you're going through and working through these. Um, and not just say, you're not doing this or something's not right, you, it's you, you are the problem. When the truth is, is that, you know, um, Maybe it is you, but it's okay to be gentle with yourself and say, okay, well, this didn't work today or I didn't do the way that I wanted to or what I wanted to do today, but that's okay. I'm gonna try better. I'm gonna try tomorrow and be better tomorrow and to be kind and gentle to yourself and to continue to love yourself. That's really important. So I hope you found these tips helpful and then join me in the next video where I'm going to dive more into the writing side of getting unstuck if you're stuck in your book or you're stuck not being able to write. All right, see you guys later. Oh, I forgot as always, um, I forgot to ask the question. When you are stuck, whether it's emotionally, physically, spiritually, or just in your books, how do you get yourself unstuck? I would love to hear that. I always uh, am fascinated by how people get themselves unstuck. All right, thank you guys and have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.